I've just okay. see your ID. I'm not saying you're under <clears throat> arrest, but you are. You do need to identify yourself because we are investigating a crime. And what crime is that? The crime is is hindering. Okay. There's also the obstruction crime. There's also the endangerment crime. There's also assault. Did you guys catch him? No. No? no. Damn. How many were in the vehicle? As far as you know, just one. And he got away? He was fast and first tonight. <laughs> did you guys did you guys run after him or what? I don't think they ran after him. They just kind of locked it down and uh, tried to search for him. How many uh, how many cops do you think were out here? Well, I don't know, maybe 10, 15. Looked like 30 or 40 to me. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Right. You guys feeling competent when that happens or no? Yeah, feeling good. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Feel a little bit incompetent? Oh, no, not at all. Really? I mean, that's a lot of resources to find one guy and fail, don't you think? April 15th, 2020, 11 p.m., Tucson, Arizona. Get so this is why I saw... Pima County Sheriff flying down the freeway earlier when I was headed out to you. Yeah, yeah. We got a high speed chase ended right here. TPD. I think they're, uh, when I heard over the radio, still looking for a runner. Is there still a runner? What's that? Is there still a runner? I'm not sure. I kind of just got here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, I think I'm going to go block over. Because if I had to take a wild guess based on the position of the vehicle and the Vehicles chasing this direction. I'd have to guess if there's a runner, he's down that other block. That piggy was shining his light right in my eyes. Take note, because this is a typical Tucson police officer bullying tactic, and it's going to come into play a lot over the next few videos. Every time these guys see cameramen, they blind the cameras with their lights. So we got cops for blocks. There's, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's up that direction. There's, well, there's two here, and there's two that I can see up that direction for the next block. Two more up this, three more that I see up this direction. Homeboy could be hiding on anybody's property over here. Look at all these places. Look at all these places there is to hide. On all these properties. What's up, man? Uh, you got anything good? They're, they're still looking for somebody. I don't know what's going on, so if I see somebody hiding, I'm not gonna, I'll just uh, pretend I didn't see it and walk away. Because I don't know if, if I do see someone hiding, I don't know if they are a victim or a suspect. You know what I mean? Just because you're being chased by the police doesn't mean you've done something wrong. Maybe the police done something wrong and you saw them do it. You guys remember watching cops when you were younger? I remember watching cops a lot when I was younger. And they would never show the episodes where the guys ran from the cops and got away. And I think that it was more often than not that guys got away. <clears throat> and you'd always have Sheriff John Bennell saying, It never pays to run from the law because bad guys always get caught. And it was, uh, I think it was kind of a load of bullshit to try to keep you from running, right? When the truth is that most people that ran from cops got away, right? I mean, not that I know from experience. <clears throat> not that I've ever run from the police in the Tucson area in my younger years and gotten away. That's never happened. Got this guy blocking the sidewalk. I don't know. I don't really know why. I don't see how that's necessary. You know? I mean, that's just me. I mean, all of us normal people are always able to find somewhere to park that doesn't block pedestrian foot traffic or 
um, uh, vehicle traffic. But sovereign citizens never manage to be able to figure out how to do it. Because when criminals run away, they get away. If you think you can outsmart the law, you're right. Cops are the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet. Oh, I'm talking to the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, good information though. Oh, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they finally got the helo coming in. Got his spotlight on. And there are piggies all the way up that next block. I don't know if you can see, you can. You can at least see the red and blues. So we got a pretty big quarantine area. I don't know, I don't know how they would possibly locate somebody without some kind of thermal sensor. I mean, there's a lot of people out here. How are you supposed to know which person walking around is the person walking around that you were looking for? unit down the alley there. And based on where the chopper is circling and where the canine unit is at, I don't see how he could have gotten much further than this. I think they're getting warmer. Uh, I think they're getting warmer. I'm gonna go up the alleyway. Dirty alley. He keeps shining the spotlight right over there at that building. Which side do you want me on? You need to be on that, that side? side? All right.
I'll go down there after a minute, give them some time to clear that area, and I'll go down there. The street's right there. And I think I got a uh, police unit uh, vehicle coming up behind me. It's going to get a flat tire driving through here. Good. Good. I need your uh, ID, please. Why is that? We're just gonna identify you for what happened last night and what's going on tonight with the light following us around. With the light following you around? Yeah. What do you mean, the flashlight? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, we gave you several requests last night to turn your light off. You refused to do so. You didn't so. see me last night. Okay. You never made contact with me last night. Do you have your ID with you, sir? I do. Okay. I need to see your ID. All right. Um, and for what crime is that? We're investigating a crime that occurred last night. If you're not the person you say you are, that's great, but we need to see your ID. Okay, who are you looking for? Okay. You guys really came out here to harass me? Um, came out I can, here I can promise you, none of you ever made contact with me last night. Uh, I understand that we didn't make contact with you last night. That you didn't? Yes. Okay, okay. Nobody, nobody spoke to me last night, so you came out here to harass me, huh? Okay. You have your ID it's Tucson you, Police Department, guys. Well, who are you looking great. for? What's the name of the person you're looking for? I'm looking for you. I Who's need, you? I need your ID. Just need to just need to ID you. What what's IDing me gonna gonna change? Okay, because I'm gonna document what's what's occurring tonight with you following us on our search, and I'm gonna document what happened last night. Is it illegal to be out here following you with a camera? Is it illegal to be sh uh, shining your light on us while we're out searching for a fugitive? Yes. It's illegal to shine my light. Yes. You realize it's how dark it is. You guys are. Oh, I'm not. A, I, di I didn't shine it anywhere other than the ground. Okay, you're you guys backlighting them as they walk down the alley. That creates a danger to them. Okay, okay that's just, what happened last night. It wasn't me, I can promise you that. Great, I just okay. need to see your ID. I'm not saying you're under <clears throat> arrest, but you are, you do need to identify yourself because we are investigating a crime. And what crime is that? The crime is is hindering, okay? There's also the obstruction crime. There's also the endangerment crime. There's also assault. Normally, I'd insert the laughing baby right there, but this isn't even funny. No, no, Peterson is dead serious. Something that I've told people before is that it doesn't matter what you know, what laws you know, and what you know your rights are and aren't. When doing this, you need to be able to read and understand people. Officer Peterson wants to hurt someone tonight. He is looking for any excuse to instigate anyone to get what he wants. Call me a coward, but he articulated what he believes to be crimes. Therefore, to alleviate the real threat of violence, I tell him my name. If anyone has any doubt in their mind that Officer Peterson wants to hurt people, just wait. He does this again just a few days later. And when his unsuspecting victim doesn't comply, he gets the shit beat out of him. Officer Peterson isn't just a bad cop. He's a bad person and a danger to society. So you guys couldn't find the guy that ran from you, so you came to fuck with me? Is that what happened? Nope. Assault? Is that what you said? Yeah, if you're shining a bright light in our eyes, potentially, okay? Like I just you? need to see your ID, sir. Okay. So you do suspect me of a crime, then, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Well, I, uh, I'm not going to reach into my pockets. Okay. So if you're going to violate my rights because I'm out here recording you... Okay. Um, so is the way I'm holding my light right now illegal? No, if you're pointing it down to the ground, that's So fine. the way I've been that's, doing that's, it all that's night. That's not what's occurring last night. Uh, that, okay? you, you got, who are you looking for then? Okay. Uh, you I, got the wrong guy. Okay. I'm going to warn you, and right. then if you're going to violate my rights, then you're going to do it yourself. I'm not going to help you do it. I won't resist. Okay. Okay. If you need to steal, you if you need to steal. Give me your name then. I, do I legally have to do that? Yes, I'm being harassed. You, you okay. If you want my ID, then it's in my pocket. I'm not going to reach for it. So I'm not going to resist. I don't, I don't want to be reaching And I don't pockets. consent. Okay. I don't consent, but if you're going to do something illegal, then I'm not going to try to stop you from doing it. Okay. I'm not going to resist anything. What's your name? I'm live. I don't want to give out my information. Okay, can you pause it for a second? It's live. I can't pause it. You can okay. do it. We're recording everything here. 
So how how is getting my name going to change what? Because we're going to document your behavior tonight. We're going to pull our video from last night. Uh -huh. Okay, and we are going to continue our investigation in that manner. So from the time you pulled up, who's who did I shine my light at? Okay, you were you were shining your light behind the two deputies as they were walking through that. Right, because their backs were to me, and anybody who their position. Well, I don't see how that's a problem. So was the chopper. I understand you don't see it as a, as okay. a problem. Nobody okay. asked me not to either. Okay. If they did, I would... he already explained to you what was going on. Correct. Okay, so for shining a light at night, that's what you're. Okay. It's shining a light at us. We're working a tactical operation at this point. This is a dangerous situation. You're making that more difficult for us, and you're also endangering us by doing that. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to endanger anybody. There was no tape taping anything off. I was staying back as far as I could. They asked me to stay over here. I waited over here until they went way up Obviously, there. Obviously, we don't have the ability to tape off a whole neighborhood. Uh, and I get that. And that's why when they said, hey, I need you to go over here, the canine officer, okay. I said, yeah, no problem. I went all the way back here. Right. I waited until they went all the way up there so that they got plenty of room. I'm not here to argue with you. Right. So okay. why are you guys here to harass me then? I've done everything to comply with what you want me to do or while trying to document what you're doing without causing anybody any problems. And you came to harass me. There's no harassment. Right? There is harassment. I'm, no. I mean, if you guys want me to move away, from a, a, an, an area or a scene, I've never refused He's to do that. He's already explained to you that you're potentially investigating a crime. We have to identify you. Right. Okay. So and if you are identified as the person that was involved last night, then there's potentially going to be charges. Okay, well you guys already know who I am and know I, that I wasn't I involved know, last you night. Don't know you don't know who I am? I do not. Then what I makes you think I was involved been. in anything last night? Because you match the physical description and your behavior is the same. What's the physical left. description? A red beard? It was, I mean, a, it was, it was a male with a beard. Okay, I doubt that. His face. I need. Do I? You, you okay. verbally identify me, or you can hand me your ID. One All right. Two. So it's Tucson police guys. They're doing it again. Um, you got something to write it down with? You gonna, you gonna give me your name? If I, I mean, if I legally lawfully have to, I'm doing it yeah, under yeah, threat. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm doing it under threat. Okay. What's your James. Name? James, what's your last? I can put. I'm, you're not you gonna shoot me. What's that? Springer. You want to do it on, Springer? on live on it? What's your birthday? Do I have to give that part? You know what, I'm sure I can find it without just yeah. a for a second. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, uh, what's your name, sir? Peterson. Peterson. And yours? Right here. Were you the one that asked me to back up here a yeah. minute ago? Okay. Because then you would know that I said, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Got right back. I don't know. Okay. All right. They were deputies, correct? Uh, I believe they were. Yeah, I just saw that it used. Yeah. Honestly, man, when I'm out here, I just look around. I, I, I didn't get any, yeah. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled to see who's coming up behind and on the side. What's your name, sir? Officer Mers. Officer what? Sir? Mers. I'll wait until the helicopter goes over. I can't hear, I'm sorry. I need a tag right there. <clears throat> M-E-R-Z? Yes. And what's your name? Told you already, it's right here also. Rumsley. I go. got a short memory too. I couldn't even remember what the officers were wearing that came through the alley. That's why I record everything, man. Doing you though. What's that? So that's not the reason why you record it. You know that. Well, yeah, I record the document, everything that's going on. So what happened last night? I'm not going to discuss it with you. Okay. Like you said, if uh, the video shows that it is you yeah. from last I'm night, I'm not worried then, about it one bit. And then we'll discuss it at that point. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I could understand shining a light in your face, but really, man, shining a light on someone's back, I mean, I'm going that direction, right? I light the direction okay. I'm going. I'll be happy to explain it to you if you like. <clears throat> yeah. You want me to explain it to you? Well, you know, if you no. guys had asked instead of coming and threatening me. Nobody threatened you. Well, give me your ID, give me ID. That's not a threat. No, not a threat. I see it as a threat. He explained to you why we were contacting you, why he wanted to identify you, correct? There's no threats made, no harassment made. I see any of you guys approaching me and telling me that I have to do something as a threat. That's how I view it. It's not a threat. Okay, well that's how I see it. James, consider this. If we see you approaching <clears throat> us, we can consider that as a threat to them, correct? Well, I don't come up to you and start demanding things from you and surround well, you, you with multiple people and while open carrying firearms. Well, you know what? You're not investigating anything. You're yeah, I am. You're documenting things. I, which correct? is investigating. No, it isn't. It's, it's the same thing. You, investigative what, journalist. That's why they call it an investigative journalist. All right. We are investigating criminal cases. That's uh -huh. why we ask people their identification. Yeah. But in this particular case, you're you don't, you don't an actually... You're for public knowledge and your own benefit. 
we're doing a criminal investigation. That's the difference between those two. Right, but you're not actually investigating me for a crime. You came to harass we already, me. We already talked to you about that. Officer yeah. Peterson explained why he was... You guys keep stretching for bullshit. You know, I've been nothing but... I know there's a lot of activists that have done nothing but cuss you guys out and treat you like shit. And you know what? I'm the one who has always come out here and been nice to you. And now I'm beginning to see more and more every damn day why they just treat you like garbage. Let me ask you, why do you come out? What's that? Why do you come out? To I record and document. You, to record know. and document what's going on. Now, okay. I know that you guys actually take down and uh, take real criminals into jail. People who've robbed houses, taken life, taken liberty, taken property. I also know that you guys sometimes commit crimes yourself. I'm out to document. I've never committed a crime in my life. <laughs> I've never committed a crime in my life. I, you know, that's... So you say. I'm out here to document. I haven't, I haven't been out here like some other people cussing you guys out, and you come and harass me though. I see why people harassing come out and just cuss you out. You. I see this as harassment. I, you, you know, if you, you had, if you had, if you had even want. told me, you know what, man, we really don't like you being down this alley. We're trying to investigate. I'd say, yeah, you know what? You want me to go back the way I came, or do you want me to go back the short way? You know, I've never been difficult with any of you guys. Always done what you ask, even when I know your orders are unlawful, and you come out here and do this shit to me. That's why. I see why the activists out here have no patience with you guys. Okay. Am I, I'm detained then, right? Obviously, since he's taken ID. Am I detained or free to go? He's trying to confirm your identity. Am I detained or free to go? What's that? Am I detained or free to go? Well, he'll tell you that right now. He's walking right Okay. Uh, I'm asking you. Are you detaining me? I'm not detaining Okay, are you detaining me? I am not. All right, I'm going to... Are you detaining me? No, sir, you're actually free to go now. Uh, just be warned that if you're going to be following officers out searching in the neighborhood and you're going to backlight them with your light or put your light in your eyes, in their eyes, you can potentially be arrested for that, okay? He's absolutely right that I can potentially be arrested for anything. You see, the problem with Officer Peterson is he is dangerously stupid. If you all haven't noticed yet, you can and will be arrested for anything an officer doesn't like, even if the arrest is unlawful. An officer physically has the ability to arrest you just because he doesn't like your haircut. And an officer like Peterson will talk himself into it. And now, did you need my name to go and look at the video footage and find out if it was me that did what you thought was done? Yeah, okay, I needed your name to ID you because I don't know who you are. You don't need to ID me unless you suspect okay. me of a All crime, right, which you didn't because you didn't know who the okay, fuck sir. shined the light in anybody's eyes. Have a good night. Now I understand yeah. why people fucking cuss at you guys and treat you like fucking shit all the time because you deserve nothing better. That's your last warning. You guys shine lights in my face all the time. No one's shining a light in your face. I'm lighting the ground. Okay. It, it, As I say, you can shine it at the ground. That's all you want to. Don't shine it at me. You wonder why people fucking hate you. You're fucking worthless trash, and I don't shed a tear when one of you drop. We begin with breaking news in Dallas, Texas, where at least five police officers were killed when they were ambushed by at least two snipers. As you mentioned, the gunfire erupted in downtown Dallas with no warning, turning this place into a war zone and still very much resembling one right now. Officials saying the intent of the shooters was to kill as many officers as possible. Was to kill as many officers as possible. Possible. Run, run, run. Police say this was a coordinated attack. I've never shined my light at any helicopter anywhere, ever. Yeah, hey, thanks for the tip. Hey, I got a tip for you. Fuck off. Yeah. And if I haven't shown you enough times, one, you're going to be hard pressed to find a lawyer to take any case at all. And, and two, even when you do, come on guys, we've seen lawsuits won. Even though the, I mean, it's, there, there's a lawsuit for about every 100,000 uh, rights violations that I see on video, there, there's maybe one lawsuit out of every 100,000 rights violations. And even when those are won, you know goddamn well that the individual police officer that was sued and lost the lawsuit for that rights violation does not change their their uh, behavior nor does the department none of them change their behavior why because that's not accountability they aren't responsible for their own actions hey man
Hey, did you guys, did you guys catch him? Did you guys catch him? No. No? no. Damn, how many were in the vehicle? As far as you know, just one. And he got away? He was faster than us tonight. <laughs> did, you, did you guys run after him or what? I don't think they ran after him. They just kind of walked it down and uh, tried to search for him. How many, uh, how many cops do you think were out here? Well, I don't know, maybe 10, 15. Looked like 30 or 40 to me. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Right. You guys feeling competent when that happens or no? Yeah, feeling good. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Feel a little bit incompetent? Oh, no, not at all. Really? I mean, that's a lot of resources to find one guy and fail, don't you think? Well, every day can't be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you too, man. <laughs> every day can't be perfect. Sometimes 40 or 50 cops can't find one guy with a helicopter and two dogs.